It's Amanda for the ball. Welcome back to the action. Thanks for staying with us here at the Women's Series. This is the second round of the Outside. third and final event of your Super Saturday here, brought to you live from the Marshall Arena Bullseye. Trina's in wonderful. Milton Keynes. And what a treat we have for you in Trina Gulliver, the 10-time Women's World Champion, back on the hockey and in action here on the live stream. She's hit the ball to... 81 earn the advantage of throwing first in the second round tie and she's going up against Amanda Harwood who appeared in the women's series last year she's also 45. appeared at the world masters on eight occasions reaching the last 16 once herself but we have in Trina Gulliver 104. a legend of the game don't we Colin Lloyd we most certainly do Murph Great to see Trina back. Looking good. And she's come back as half the 60. player that she was. She could do some damage. Good to have her back. It really is. And may not have gone to plan for Trina Gulliver so far. 60. In the women's series. Of course, she didn't enter last year off the back of some personal problems and health problems but she's fighting fit again and she was given a tough opener really on her return won. to professional darts playing Rihanna Sullivan in the first round the old Robin Hood shot we've got to go and stick another one in there 20 <laughs> yeah she lost that one but then she <laughs> won her first round match in the second event and she defeated Lisa Brosnan before losing out to Sarah Roberts who ran Fallon Sherrick close in this event 69 she's beaten Mandy Smith to set up this match with Amanda the Panda Harwood thirty-two the Panda Fabulous. Think about with Trina Gulliver Murphy's. 41. Some of the ladies, <coughs> she still has that fear factor. You know, she may not be that player that she was. There's no reason why she can't dig deep and get that player back. 40. Because in her prime, she was absolutely devastating. You don't win 10 world titles if you can't play the game of darts. Yeah, a record is second to none, isn't it? Trina Gulliver, if you look at 128 when she comes back. But between the turn of the millennium and for that decade or so, she just dominated this game. Treble 20, next target. Yeah, from 2001 to 2011. She never failed to reach the final of the World Championships, winning nine in those 11 years. That's some going. 40. Big 18 now for the ball. Bullseye. 45. Can Howard pick the pocket of Gulliver here it's a half decent dart to try and guide one into the treble 20 but it just perhaps flicked off the flight and diverted from its intended destination 32. well I went for the one yep. there 25 left should go nine yep should go nine double eight no I miscounted. I think 31. I did. That's a rarity, Murph, I can tell you. <laughs> well, we have had a, a long day, Lloydie. We'll let you off that one. Will Trina be let off? Yep. Well, she has been. A miss. It's a mistake, but missing the big number. 32. 
is unforgivable on those finishes. Double two. Eight scored. Roy smile on the face of Trina Gulliver there. A couple of years back, she'd have been absolutely fuming at this point. But tops for Amanda Harwood. 16. That would have been a sneaky little steal. Madhouse for Trina Gulliver. No score. She won't believe that she's let this leg get away. Gulliver was decent stuff up until she got to the finish line. But she may still get the chance to pass it. Game shot. Marker and in. That's what all the top pros do. Well, hopefully both these ladies will settle in now and start throwing it the way they know they can. That's better. 81. There are a handful of players already through to the last 16 of this event. Makuru Suzuki is one of them, a 4-1 win for her against Stephanie 60. Potter. Dita Hedman also through. She's beaten Kirsty Hutchinson 4-0. Same scoreline for Lisa Ashton, but the average is a standout one. She's beaten Tina Nail on 4-0 with an average of 93.94. Fallon Sherrick through as well, a 4-1 win against Joe Clements. The same scoreline for Corinne Hammond. Rihanna Sullivan also threw 4-1 against Chris Savary. And Anastasia Dobromislova is in the last 16. A 4-0 win for her against Fonsuan Willis. 100. Yeah, that's a bit better there from Trina. She had a bit of a grit in her teeth there as she threw those three darts. Just needs one of these two players to take this game for the scruff and start asserting a bit of authority. One hundred. There's still advantage Amanda Harwood at the moment in this leg. Eight. Yep. This could be a nice little shot. Oh, that's a wonderful setup. Some super stuff from Harwood. Got it all wanting to at least halve this, but she's not going to. 21. It's just released any kind of possible pressure. Shouldn't really have been staying there anyway. Trina Gulliver sure. and Harwood just allowed to take that second leg at a canter and level up this match at one apiece. One hundred. Looks like it's a nice little flow to Trina's game. A few little erratic shots, but... 125. When she hasn't played any tournament play for so long, Murph, you know, you, you lose that little bit of rhythm. 43. And she probably knows that her best days have been behind her for a while. The new era of... Ladies' darts has followed the... 121. Trail that she blares for the likes of Fallon Sherrick, Lisa Ashton, Makuru Suzuki, et al. to follow. She's still competitive on her day. 97. Yeah, very much so. Let's not forget Amanda Harwood in this league. She's kicked off a 1 2 5 and a 1 2 1. Can she back it up for a third consecutive throw? And I would say yes, she can. 95. Yeah, 160 after 9. 
Good stuff. It just seems to have settled down a bit. I couldn't find a, a record of any meeting between this pair, but it just did seem to have the sense in that first leg that Harwood was feeling it against a great of the game, but she really has managed to find her feet, hasn't she, in the last couple of legs? 85. Yeah, she certainly has, ma'am. I mean, she's thrown a good leg here. She's on 75 after 12 darts, but Trina herself is sitting on a 126 after 12 darts. Well, bullseye. 101. The wire moved. But unfortunately, it was only a 25, so Amanda Harwood does have a chance to take this leg with 75. Big 18 now for tops. And this time she gets a single number. 55. Not the double. So a chance for Trina. Nine. Double eight. Game shot. There it is. Gulliver, the golden girl, back in charge of this tie. And one of the big names in World Dart. She was awarded the MBE, of course. Back in 2013 66. for services to darts and <coughs> for uh, charity fundraising work as well. Eighty-two. The one thing you never forget, Murph, when you've played at the very top, or when you play for such a long time, you don't forget your way around a dartboard. Sixty. So Trina threw a sixty there, and she felt it wasn't quite right and switch straight away down to the empty bed of a treble 19 good good board management as we 41. say uh, Gulliver's travels around the board often paying off 81. unlike that pun 121 The eye rolls around the world, almost causing an earthquake. 125. You're not saying anything on purpose, are you, Lloydie? Mm. It's actually turned into quite 30. a decent battle. Yeah, that lacklustre first leg will deflate the averages massively because it was well in excess of 60 darts between the pair of them 78 but the last few legs have been decent enough yeah I totally agree 80. I think Trina Blesser could have 60 probably preferred someone who goes a little bit more of her own pace but she's been around in the game long enough. But it's only your turn at the hockey when your opponent's finished throwing. Yeah, and she just seems to be keeping that rhythm, 26. doesn't she, Trina herself? That's the one thing you can't do, isn't it? Let it affect your actual throw. You can affect your routine in walking up to the hockey and all that kind of thing, but you must throw at the pace and rhythm that you're comfortable with. 100. A 149 here for Trina. All she can do is set it up now. 59. Big area to hit here. Treble 16 and treble 8 next to each other. And now double 8. Good. Fabulous. Fantastic finish from Amanda Harwood to level up this match. A nod of approval from her opponent. And it's 2-2 two -two in this race to four. Forty-one. <coughs> I've had just had confirmation of the last sixteen match which will 55. take place on this board, and it is a rather tasty one. Dieter Hedman is going to take on Lisa Ashton. That's coming next. 
It'll be more or less straight after this match because both of those players are ready to go. So do not switch over. Whatever you do, one of those players will fall in the last 16 of the last event of the day. 60. Oh, I was just about to say, it's a bit of the golden girl magic, but she'll be happy with that. I'll tell you what, Lloyd, as well, very interesting. We've got that match between Ashton and Hedman coming up here in the last 16. A match that's just getting underway in the last 16 is Fallon Sherrick against 81. Rihanna O'Sullivan. So four of the players there that have been big players in the first two events, all battling out in the last 16 of the third event. 60. Just notice as well, my my colleague and friend Laura Turner is three two up on Rachel Brooks. Good to see Laura having a bit of a run. Yeah, that's a second round match. Forty. But a slow start from Turner, just like last year. Seems like she's finding her feet towards the end of the day. Seems to have some staying power. Sixty. Mm, I think Trina will be a little bit annoyed with that last dart. She knows more than anyone she should have switched there. I think you could just see her kind of berating herself as she walked away. Shouldn't have done her too much damage. Harwood has left an enormous out shot. 100. She stayed there again to leave 99, but this time found the treble. I think that um, that treble 20 there that she hit last at Dartmouth was thrown in disgust, I think, or, I don't know, sort of like... 44. Hmm. Disappointed with herself. But lucky enough, she hit it, so she's got two data. Top centre, a 3-2 lead. 19. More choices here. 104 for Harwood to take control of this tie. She'll be staying there, but can't find the treble. So Trina Gulliver will return with three darts at double top to move one ahead and one away from the 72. win. 72. Tops for Trina. It's a good marker. Game shot. Good marker, and the second dart straight in. Didn't try and guide it in, through it. Good finishing. 3-2 Trina Gulliver. Your Sky Sports colleague, Laura Turner, has won that match. 4-2, I can inform you, Colin. Interesting if Laura were to make it to the World Championship, because she's been commentating on the women's appearances at the World Championship. Who would commentate on her? I dare say it would have to be me, I suppose. I'd be 55. that I'd be that frosty lucky charm. No, it's just nice for Laura. I've had some nice little chats with Laura. She's been a bit disappointed in what she's played so far. So nice to see her get a couple of games 45. under her belt. Nice to see all the ladies get a couple of games under their belt because that gives you a little bit more positivity for tomorrow, Chris, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We are going to see 26. a clear leading pack, it seems. The usual suspects have moved through to the last 16 of this event. That'll be whittled down to eight very soon. Of course, we will have a last 16 match after this. As I mentioned, Hedman 85. versus Ashton. Do not go anywhere. Can one of the biggest names stick around a little longer? Trina Gulliver here. Looking to move into the last 16 herself for the first time today. 42. Sixty-six. I like what Trina's doing there. There's a little smile on her face. She's sort of like trying to speed her game up a bit to try and create a bit of something, Murphy, you know? And that's, that's not a bad thing. You don't want to bog yourself down. 
like we've said, she's been away from the game for a little while. So, no, I like it. I like it. One hundred. Well, she gets a hundred. Again, the counting could have cost her then, but she backed herself to a treble with one of three darts, and she was right to do so. Slightly more makeable out shot in front of Amanda Harwood here. She finds a treble. She'll get a dart at the bull, but not that treble. Thirty-five scored. Ninety-five left. Still has a, a decision to make here. Goes for treble nineteen. Finds it to leave 92. a double. I'll just try and set it up, put a bit of pressure on this 38. 93. And bearing in mind that Amanda's throwing for this double to stay in this event. Not the double you'd want to be on in that situation. Now needs to put one through the goalposts. No score. But couldn't find the net. Gulliver. On top, and on tops, and Dream through the to the last 16 at the Women's Series for the first time.